So um, if anybody's interested, James Hamilton, author, at Facebook, Gmail, everywhere. You can't miss me. I'm the guy that doesn't own the <laughs> Right. Any jazz fans? People like jazz? So I wrote this, uh, shit, I wrote this like four years ago. Um, a friend of mine died in 1991, was a jazz uh, saxophone player in Milwaukee, Perry Moore. So I wrote this as kind of a tribute to jazz and to him. So. New York City, 52nd Street, circa 1948. Smoking bar rooms and clubs all open late. Seven days a week, nine o'clock at night. Outside the image, a picturesquely painted sky. Ash-colored backdrop, solid murky flat tones, indistinctly opaque to its esoteric forms. Reflections shine from the hazy neon lights. Watercolors run in pink and blue ribbons cut through the murky onyx night. Drip as they melt away, fading out of sight. Inside, they play. Dark until the morning shows its light. These gods of night, they play. Devil may care vagabonds arrive, dressed, pressed to impress. Clean shave and polished shoes, dark suit, pinstripes, dark tie still standing out from the rest. Removing segregation, pioneering integration. Black and white, the songs they wrote. White and black in the songs they played. Ladies and gentlemen, assembling on stage, in pocket, relaxed, playing notes inked on a page. Cool and slight like a breeze, they lean, they sway. Kicking snare triples of brush, some flare, spinning sticks sin and hi-hat, hot tricks, women dancing, horns of gold, bass line steady yet crisp and bold. Quintets, quashing, quintruplet, pentatonic notes, sweet sounding syncopation, augmented alliteration, polytonality brings two times the fascination. Cross rhythm crushed, keys played with soul, the sum of them parts is always more than a whole. Open voicing, outer voice, blowing solos on the stroll, half time, ground beat, grooving, risky root chord riffs, funky bridges that don't bridge, rhythm sections change in rhythm. Turn around, tetrachord, manner crooked, straight A's, upper structure, voice leading vamp, block chord, back beat, contrapuntal 16th, smash and scale waves against the shorter rock beneath. Inversion interlude, improvisation with no rules, boogie boogie bebop, cadence and rhythm that don't stop, flowing cool to flowing hot. Blistering pace but no race, resonating till the day breaks. The soundtrack of life continues to play in the background, and life itself goes on another day. The only original art form indigenous to America, where the groove was found. A life with jazz is a jazz life. Weave tight together. Timeless music plays now, then, and forever. I right, just want to conclude with a works of progress. Is that just a showcase that writing is always about history and recording it. Even like Joyce's where it's science fiction, but still it's a way of looking at spring of 2022, these time travelers saying not a bad time. It was after COVID, before the next calamity. So this is just a way I, uh, wanted to record one of the many poems, or saw stories that my dad tells. Put this on it, and I actually love listening to his stories, and I want to capture that. So here's when, Ruth, when youth rode horses. My grandpa bought my dad a half wine mare. He took her up to the school to fetch his lunch pail. The mare got spooked and bolted, but she was going one place, home. When my dad was 12, Grandpa tasked him with taming the rambunctious Shetland pony that was refusing to listen to the younger kids. When he climbed on, the old girl feline to the apple tree in the pasture. Dad ducked low, anticipating the low branch they were heading for. That's why she veered to the lower branch on the other side, <laughs> being my dad in the head. All right, well, thanks for the new move.